What's up, guys? Fuck, that sounds so much fucking better, doesn't it? Fuck. Do, do, do. Which way do I want to go? Yeah, fuck it. Oh, we got fucking geese walking up my. Well, guys, this isn't uh, new. New news by any means, but we've all heard, I'm sure, by now that William Dunlop uh, passed away in an accident at the Scaries 100, which I believe is in Northern Ireland. That's really fucking sad. It was a practice session. I guess he uh, pulled out of the Isle of Man, but he decided to do the Scaries 100 practice session, and that was the, the day before the actual race. I, I forget what where he was going through. There's like a Sam's Tunnel section or something that uh, he was going through at the time, and they're thinking that he caught a bit of air, and then when he landed and bottomed out, that he possibly ripped some of his uh, like sump section out, and then it just obviously started pouring fucking oil out. This is the theory they have. I guess the investigation on his bike, the autopsy or whatever they call on his bike, is in the advanced stage. So they're thinking that, you know, a piece of his uh, oil sump ripped off on the bottom of his bike, started leaking oil, and obviously his back tire went through it. He lost control. And, you know, at that speed, at that speed, it's, it's pretty much fucking game over you're gonna have an accident and uh, he slammed into a ditch or something and was thrown from the bike well oh, I should have fucking squeezed through there so he slammed in the ditch at who knows how fast probably we'll say 150 miles an hour or something like that and uh, it was thrown from his bike and from what I was reading with uh, some of the Irish newsletters and stuff like that, that, you know, it was just devastating head injuries. There was, there was no, it was, it was instantaneous death. So in that sense, that's a good thing, because you don't want someone just to kind of get all mangled and shit, and then they fight it out for a couple weeks and pass away. You want it to be quick, you know. I just want to say ride in paradise. He died loving the sport, doing what he loved, what he was passionate for, and he was actually a successful road racer. So you can tell it's an amateur, you never fucking ride around with your fucking leg down. That's why people have no respect for fucking scooter riders. Look at that, both his fucking legs down, fucking duck waddle or whatever the fuck they call that shit. Yeah, it's so bad, and I just read a lot of comments, you know, talking about how they should ban the Isle of Man and stuff like that, and it's like, you know, that that's where, you know, um, I guess ignorance is bliss, because they have no idea that Scaries 100 is not the Isle of Man. That's not even on the same fucking island. You know what I mean? So it's just, I don't know, some people just kind of like, oh, the Isle of Man should be banned. It's like, if you ban the, the Isle of Man, that's taking away our choice. That means we, technically we have less freedom as a human species. You know what I mean? That's not right. These are professional racers. They have, what's up, buddy? They have the skills and the, and the mindset to actually and are capable of making that choice that they, they, you know, are more than likely able to finish that race at a very high rate of speed, very skillfully. Like, these are very skilled men that have a different skill set. That's not saying um, they're better than MotoGP riders. They're two completely different 
you know, racetracks. Like one's actually a racetrack and one's, you know, a fucking road track. It's public roads when it's not being used as a race, so. I don't know, it's just, it, that, that, when I see stuff like that, it kind of bothers me, because I, I do understand where people are coming from, but it's not like these are open fucking roads. They close these roads down, these professionals making that choice. They, they know what they're doing. If you start taking away choices, then what next? Oh, that race is too dangerous. Then wh why not just go all out and just be like, motorcycles are too dangerous, ban them. You, do you guys see what I'm saying? Like, that shit ain't right. I'm very pro-choice. We should have a fucking choice to do whatever we want. If we want to enter these races, and you know, we qualify to enter these races, because I think you have to have a uh, minimum two years road racing experience to even um, qualify for, uh, to enter an Isle of Man. I think that's right. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. I think it's two years road racing experience before Isle of Man. So, I mean, I don't know. I feel so bad for uh, his mother and brother-in-law. Just, I mean, that, that family is a dynasty. They're winners. They're winners. They're road racing champions. They're just, a family, it's just bred into their DNA. And I have the utmost respect for them. I mean, you know, I wish them all the best and I really hope this year at the Isle of Man that uh, Michael Dunlop takes the cake, brings it home. But at the same time, hey, the best man wins, right? The best man wins. So I just wanted to talk a bit about that kind of bring it to light if you guys haven't heard about it now you have heard about it I mean I want to know what your opinion on Isle of Man is do you guys think it should the, the race should be illegal or do, you, or do you believe in the freedom of choice to enter these races this is my food for thought my opinions you guys have a good one take care